yeah, I mean, it's, it's a completely different game. It's uh, a game that we don't play um, throughout the year consistently like we do with singles, but it's something that, especially for the Commonwealth Games countries, um, we practice it like steadily throughout the four years in the run up to into the games. And yeah, it's uh, obviously a much wider court, lower tin, um, but it's so dynamic, very fast paced. I um, mean, similar to the singles, but it's uh, with four people on the court. There's just so there's a different dynamic to it. There's different um, tactics, different um, angles to hit, and I think um, that's where it's really exciting. I think really exciting for the spectator to watch as well. Yeah, I mean, in singles, there's a lot. I mean, the basic game is to, to hit down the walls, to keep it tight. In doubles, it's completely different. It's it's more a case of finding the space where and that space could be down the middle quite a lot of the time. So it's almost about hitting one shot to create another. And um, it's, yeah, it's, it's completely different, but it brings a whole different element to it, which I find really exciting. And I think as a Scottish contingent, we find... Um, really exciting, really, it's really progressive. The coaching style that we've got, I think, is really, really good. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's an exciting game that I think a lot of spectators would enjoy if um, once it comes around. It'll be special, yeah. World Doubles is a great event. Um, as I said before, we really, really look forward to when the doubles comes around. And for Scotland itself, it's going to be hosted at the Scotston where the 2014 Glasgow Games were. And um, I hear they've got a good bit of funding to put behind them to refurbish the courts and to make it a great event and from what I hear the entries look strong with a lot of the Commonwealth countries and a few of the Asian games because that's going to be mixed doubles is going to be in their event this year so it's going to be the um, a strong contingent from Asia as well so yeah it's it looks like it's going to be a great event from what I hear and um, yeah it's I look forward to, to it happening. Um, foods, I mean, you've got to go for haggis, um, but that's uh, definitely an acquired taste and it's one that Scots love, but I'm not so sure about the tourists coming in. Um, and Glasgow, I mean, Glasgow is a great city. It's, um, it hosted the, the games particularly well. I'm not too familiar with it because I haven't spent a huge amount of time there. But if people are coming across and get across to, to Edinburgh because that's a fantastic city. Um, to see Old Town and um, yeah, it's really picturesque and yeah, just tra travel around. Scotland's a, a beautiful country and, and yeah, I, I miss it now that I'm down in England. Um, but yeah, I, I love going back there every time I go.